When the Alaskan Way Viaduct closes and the new State Route 99 tunnel opens, getting around Seattle will change. The exits and entrances currently on the viaduct move further north to Seattle Center and south to the sports stadiums for the two mile long tunnel underneath downtown. This video shows what driving south into Seattle looks like with the new tunnel. As you approach the Space Needle, you'll have two choices. Stay on southbound 99 for the tunnel or exit left to Denny Way and downtown. At this exit, there's something new. The first intersection you'll approach will be Harrison Street, which crosses Aurora for the first time in more than 60 years. At Harrison Street, you can turn left to South Lake Union, right to Seattle Center and Queen Anne, or go straight to get to Denny Way and downtown Seattle. Your destination will drive your choice. If you choose to take the tunnel underneath Seattle, your next decision point is two miles away, near the stadiums. Bear right to stay on southbound 99 for West Seattle, SeaTac Airport, and other parts south. Or bear left to take the exit for the sports stadiums, interstates, and ferries. Once you reach the Royal Bromeway intersection, you'll have more choices. Turning left gets you to First Avenue and beyond. If you choose to go straight, Towards South Atlantic Street, you can turn left to reach I-90 and I-5, or right to get to East Marginal Way in the Port of Seattle. Your destination will drive your choice. Check out our other videos to see what the trip looks like driving north into Seattle, and how to get to SR-99 from in and around downtown once the new tunnel opens.